Hey everybody, Rebecca Louise and my trusted sidekick Alfie is here today to give you an awesome workout that's going to get those legs nice and toned. It's the Victoria's Secret Legs Workout, okay, the updated version. So you can put your dog, Chihuahua, whatever you've got, cat down beside you. And if you want to use weights, you can, you don't have to, but I'm going to use them for today's exercise. So we're going to start off with working those hamstrings. I want you to bring those weights in front of you. Okay, so I'm going to face straight forward here. Have a slight bend in those knees, like very, very slight, because we're going to be working those hamstrings. And Alfie's off. Oh, you're going to go swimming? Definitely not going to go swimming. Okay, so what we're going to do is keeping that back nice and straight. We're going to go all the way down to the ground, then come up, and then tuck those hips underneath, and then squeeze, okay? So from the side, you're going to go down, and then up, and then tuck those hips underneath. So keeping those, the backs of those legs nice and straight, and as you come up, you're gonna tuck those hips underneath. And what that's gonna do is it's really gonna help those hamstrings. It's also gonna put that bug up. So let's go. You have, your, face, your palms are gonna be facing forward, and let's go down. All the way, and then squeeze. We are gonna get super tight tone legs today, Victoria's Secret style. Okay, let's do this. All the way down and then squeeze up and then just at the end you just want to kind of tuck your hips underneath oh, we're going to feel the burn big time today guys so just be ready because we are going to set those legs on fire okay that's it all the way down try and keep the backs of those legs nice and straight and then squeeze now if you don't have weights so you can like fill up water bottles with, with either water or you can sand or stones or like you can actually make something at home so if you don't have weights then no, that's no problem. We can just do a makeshift version. Okay, let's go all the way down. And we're just gonna do another five here. So tuck those hips underneath, squeeze those glutes. And we're on the four. Count down with me. Three. Two. Nice and slow. And then the last one, all the way down. And then coming up. Okay, so now grabbing those weights together. You're going to take a nice big wide plie, okay, just holding your weights here. We're going to go down and then we're going to squeeze up. So we're not sticking our booty back. What we're going to do, okay, is hit those hips underneath and then squeeze down. So as you go down, you want to pull up, okay, so really working that outside of the leg. Down we go and squeeze. And as you get down to the bottom, I want you to go to an extra inch and then up again. Just envision what you want your body to look like and getting through these 10, 20, 30 minute workouts is going to really change what your body looks like. But you've got to stay consistent. Really consistent guys and 80% is nutrition. So if you need help with that, make sure you check out our nutrition program. Okay, all the way down and to the top. Now come down for me and then pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Now squeeze it up to the top and then come down and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down a little bit lower for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then squeeze those glutes as you get to the top and then walk those legs back in. Okay, next exercise. Okay, we're gonna work those hamstrings again, but we're gonna bring those feet a little bit closer together. Okay, so keeping that chest up, we're just drop down again. So you wanna bring those weights a little bit further in front of you, okay, to really get that stretch, and then squeeze. So bring those weights down and up again. It's really important that you squeeze those glutes as you get to the top and tuck those hips underneath. And if those weights aren't heavy enough, okay, I really want you to be able to feel that stretch in the back of those legs. So you can start off with something light, but as soon as it gets too easy, that is time to start to ramp it up and increase those weights so you can start to gain some lean muscle. Okay, let's count down with me. Let's go for five, all the way down, squeezing underneath, and four. Keep smiling. Three, and two. Back to the legs are nice and straight, and let's go for the last one, here. Okay, now hold it here, and we're just gonna go up and down. Okay, this is nice and slow. You're gonna really feel it in the backs of those legs. So we're keeping the back leg straight. We're keeping it nice and tight. Okay, we're just lifting that chest up. 
And let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, shake those legs out. How are you feeling? I know the burn in the back of those legs. So we're gonna take a nice wide lunge, okay? And what we're going to do is just going to hold those weights here. You can put them down by your side. You can hold them up here, wherever it feels most comfortable. Okay, and we're basically going to squeeze those legs nice and tight. And we're going to drop down and put that knee onto the ground. Okay, so I actually want you to touch the ground this time. So we're going to come up and squeeze and then down to the ground. And it's important that as you come up to the top, you straighten out that front leg. And at any time you need to put those weights down, I want you to think, no, I don't need to put those weights down. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing myself. So hold on to those weights. That's it. Chest up. Straighten that front leg every single time. Really working those quads. You're working those glutes. Okay, and those calf muscles. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to hold it halfway and we're just going to pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now static hold. That's it. This is where the work is going to start to really change your body. Hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, two, one, and then straight over to the other side. I know it's burning, but this is how we're gonna keep those bo that, that body nice and tight. Okay, we wanna keep as much time that we have our body under tension. So keep those weights in the hands. I don't want you to drop them, especially if you've been using them on the first side, you don't wanna end up lopsided. So just hold on to those weights. I know it's burning, but it's gonna be worth it. Straighten that front leg, drop the knee all the way down to the ground and then squeeze. Can you feel your glutes working? Can you feel your hamstrings? You feel, definitely feel your quads working. That's it, let's go for five. And four, chest up. Three, don't quit on me now. Two, you've got this, you've just got 20 seconds left to go. You can do this, halfway. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Come on guys, you can do this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then bring it up. Fantastic guys, you got through it. Keep those weights in your hand. We're going to start doing some work on those calf muscles. So you're just going to bring your weights in front, your palms facing towards you, and we're just going to raise up and come down all the way. So we're just going to be recovering from those, those lunges. I know they were tough, but you can start to feel your body working. When you feel that burn, it means that you've been taxing and tearing your muscles in order to grow. And in order to grow, you need to make sure that you've got the right nutrition. Okay, let's squeeze it up and then come down. That's it, just nice simple raises onto the balls of the feet. Keep that hip tuck, those hips tucked under. And also keeping your core nice and tight is going to help with the balance. Let's go for another five, four, three. Come a little bit higher onto the balls of those feet. Two and one. Okay, we're going to do 60 seconds left to go, guys. That's all you have. So bring those weights in front of you. You're going to extend one leg out and you're going to squat. Okay, just a single leg squat. Keeping that chest nice and lifted, keeping that hip tucked under and the core nice and tight. So working those quads, you're working those calf muscles and the glutes. Okay, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go over to the other side, straight out. Focus on something in front of you. And if you have got weights in your hand, you can put them down here. That's actually gonna help with your balance. But if you wanna challenge yourself, which I suggest you do, okay, you're gonna have your weights up here. So you might just fall over a few times, but once you get it connected and you're really staring at something and you're squeezing all your muscles, you're gonna find it nice and easy. Last set, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, back together. We'll do our last set of raises. So just drop those weights by the side. We're gonna come up and down. 
and then we're gonna hold it at the top. So just keep coming onto those tippy toes as high as you can, squeezing those calf muscles. Okay, we're gonna hold it at the top and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold. Come on, guys, you got this. You have it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Let's try that again. We're gonna start that again. Let's go for the last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. See, you know what? Sometimes when you do a workout or an exercise, it just doesn't always go as the plan, but you don't give up. You just start again and it's gonna work. Guys, my name is Rebecca Louise. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got so much more here at Rebecca Louise and Alfie, and we love you guys. See you guys again soon. Bye.